Well, the time of year has come, but the garden is slowly beginning to fade before us. I'm very lucky that I've got a couple of dahlias that are still pumping out flowers for me, giving me a hint of colour and uh, fun in, in my space. But overall, um, a lot of the plants now are beginning to um, sort of die back. And I want to make sure that there's some colour still going through the garden in autumn and into winter. I've chosen a couple of plants today to show you how important leaf colour is. This is a leucotho and it's called leucotho dark diamond and you can see the wonderful, wonderful leaf colour given by this. It looks so gorgeous and it's quite a compact shrub, about 30 centimetres wide by 50 high so it will sit really nicely in a container and this skimmia reevesiana Hopefully you can see that glorious colour from those berries, those red berries. And they will stay on um, into early spring. So the evergreen leaves, I love that contrast between the green and the red. Um, it's just going to really sing to me when I'm looking at it from the kitchen. So that could potentially be in here as well. And then this is a viburnum, viburnum le bois marquis. And this viburnum, is um, it's lovely actually it's about it gets to about 1.8 meters high when it's uh, uh, eventual growth but it does produce a white flower um, in spring uh, in about June July time which is very attractive to um, bees so that's why I was kind of thinking oh I really like this but look at the color that it gives off this beautiful reds if you is in an area which gets very cold it may lose its leaves um, semi evergreen but hopefully um, in my sheltered garden if I choose to put it in the plant, uh, planter it should be okay. So these are my plants that I'm going to use today. I've got um, a zinc container. I do love that. It does fit in the style of my garden but do make sure that you've um, drilled some holes in the bottom because you still need to make sure that there's good drainage um, for the water to go out especially as you go into the winter months you want to know that the water is not um, retained in the planter and I broke a pot unfortunately so I'm using the crocs just to cover the bottom of the holes and that's really so that the um, water can escape but not the soil so I'm just going to put a few of those in the bottom and that's that so that just gets that started I'm using peat-free compost, it's a multi-purpose compost. I do advocate that you use peat-free, it's the best thing to use in your garden. We need to protect our peatlands. Um, and then I'm just going to put a little bit of grit in, a little bit of extra grit will help with drainage and um, I'll put that through. And I had some leftover bulbs, some narcissus that I'm going to pop in the bottom so that they'll come through um, in spring. That is, unless the squirrel beats me to it because he is rampaging around the garden at the moment. So we can now start to get some of the compost in. Lovely. So nice to be able to still come out into the garden at this time of year. There's still things to do and still planting that can happen. It's just about going around the garden centres, seeing what catches your eye, you know, updating the plant pots that you've got already. I'll just give that a nice mix in there. And then I'm just, that's about halfway full. And then I'm just going to get literally a couple of handfuls of horticultural grit, potting grit. Throw that in and then just mix it in because it just helps to keep the compost nice and light and free draining. Brilliant. Now. When you're putting your planters together, depending on what you choose to have, it's just a case of seeing what will fit in. You don't have to take the plants out yet. Do I go for these two? Do I wanna put those in? I think going for three might be pushing it because ultimately I do want there to be some uh, growing space. But we'll see actually, I quite like that. We'll, we'll see how we go. But my definite choice is going to be um, the Lakotho to take him out. To 
tease a few of the roots just a little bit. Well, and then this little skim here. And this skim it off. Oh, I can see some wonderful roots coming through this. I can get it off. <laughs> squeeze. There we go, look at that root system. It's really lovely. And see so sometimes it's just nice just to free a few of the root roots. This that will enable those roots to go down and start to work their way into the soil. will be pushing it by getting the three in here. The thing is, is that once you start to put too many plants in the containers, you're just going to make it a little bit more difficult for them to thrive. So I'm going to leave this one out. I'll find another container for this one. Yep, those are looking good. And not forgetting my bulbs. I'm going to put a few of these in. I've got tip side up and they are going to be the perfect height for when I backfill. And that just gives another little bit of interest to come through and prolongs the um, interest of the container. Yeah, that's everything. And then just a little bit of backfill. Strong to get into these, and and then it's just a case of getting the compost into your container, and just position the plants where you want them to be. Really, so I think I might just have that just like that. Right. You can use a scoop. I just like using my hands. You know, planting out in your garden, the longer you can stay out in the garden, the better. And um, you have to make up, it, you don't really have to make up excuses. I do a little bit to come out. Oh, look, I need to just update a container. And it's such fun. And the thing is as well, you know, making containers up, there's such wonderful things to be able to gift to people, especially at this time when people might not be feeling quite as jolly. If you go and deliver a wonderfully planted container at someone's door, they're going to thank you for that. turn my back on you but I always like to look and see how does the container look from the front I'm going to ask my lovely camera assistant to come slightly forward so that you can see see a little bit more close up these lovely plants That's great. And then of course, it's important to do a little bit of watering. Water them in. And that, I think I've said before, the beauty with containers is that you can just move them around the garden. And there you have it. lovely he's going to go into another container later and then this little beauty is all done <laughs>